Centering prayer is an amazing prayer technique. So I want to explain to you in this video how to use it every day. It's something really that you want to do every day. It's so powerful uh, in its ability to focus us. Noise is the great enemy of our spiritual life. The noise in our heads, the literal noise around, the busyness, the traffic, the things at us all the time, news feeds, news reports, global politics always at us. There's so much noise that clutters, that makes our lives complex, that makes seeing the future difficult. We lack visibility in our lives and we lack visibility in our spiritual lives. We're under pressure, we're being abused, we're being manipulated, we're restless in our hearts and souls. There's just noise and complexity and clutter everywhere and it kills what's important. And what's the most important is your prayer life, your spiritual life and development. Centering prayer brings us into this place where we center down, where we, where we put roots down as we pray. So you might do this in your prayer time. We might just do this as a prayer as you go. Sometimes I do this even before going into an important meeting. Sometimes I do this if I'm at a cafe eating lunch and I've got a spare five minutes. I just center down, centering prayer that brings me back to what's important. Traditionally, uh, it's called recollection or, or a recollective prayer. Recollection as in reminding or, or remembering something, remembering or recalling what's important. And that's what centering prayer does. It focuses on what's important. It brings us back to the divine center, centers us on God, centers us, centers us on what we really want. What we really want is a relationship with the living God. All life flows out of that. Yet it's so difficult to get to that with all the noise and the clutter. Centering prayer focuses our attention, focuses our attention on the now, on today. That's why sometimes it's a great prayer to do before a meeting, before something difficult, when you've just got five minutes uh, in your office or at work or on a break, just to bring you down and focus your attention back on God, what's important, why you're alive, what's valuable in your life, what's life-giving around you. But it also focuses your direction. So not just focusing your attention today, but focusing your direction for all time, for the future, for all of eternity. And that comes through, again, focusing on God so the Holy Ghost can lead you into your future. So here's how you do it. Three simple steps. The first thing is to sit down, usually maybe even to lay down, and just to let go. Practice deep breathing. Just let go. Close your eyes. Imagine everything just washing off you, all the dirt, the filth, the hurts, the pains, your heart just releasing and letting out all the junk, the contamination. Let your thoughts go, put them to the side, put all that noise away. Everything that's, that's creating pressure, put it aside. Take the thought and put it aside. Even write down the thought and just put it aside. The to-do list, the task that comes up. The first thing is to let go. You can't center if there's a whole bunch of activity and a whole bunch of noise and a whole list of things in your mind. So you've got to let all of that go first. And here's the real key, the second part after we've let go, is to repeat a sacred word. So this allows us to meditate and to center and to come back to what's important. So it might be something as simple as Jesus or God or, or, or I love you, God, or my Father in heaven, or your kingdom come. It's great to just grab something that's scriptural, that's in, it's in the Bible. So a simple one I use quite often is just Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And, and it slowly brings you from out here to in here and centers you as I'm meditating. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And the re repetition means that all the other competing thoughts and words and outside things are really drowned out by the one word that focuses your attention. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And sometimes I feel the Holy Ghost speak to me. So I go from that initial sacred word and I might jump to something else. I love you. I love you. I love you. Because there's a sense of intimacy. There's a sense of connecting with God. So I repeat another word. You've got to repeat this word 20, 30, 40, 50 times over and over again. Allow it to really focus your attention. So once you've let go, once you've repeated the sacred word and centered down, rooted down, come back to what's important in life, focused your attention, then listen. In that meditative, quiet place, that prayerful place, then you've created an environment, a sanctuary, a holy of holies. Listen to what God has to say to you. Listen to him as he loves you. Listen to him as he forgives you. 
Listen to him as he speaks to you about the future. Listen to him as he kindly and gently, like a good father, adjusts you, corrects you, rebukes you, makes you better. This is the essential uh, part and that really the ultimate goal of centering prayer. So let go first, repeat a sacred word to focus you and center you down, and then listen to God and what he has to say to you or pray a little bit uh, and, and talk with God a little bit in what he has to say to you. Again, like a lot of these prayer techniques, they take practice. Don't assume you'll be able to do this in one or two tries, but commit to doing it for a month. Commit to doing it daily uh, for an entire month. Commit to doing it every time uh, you go on your lunch break. Let it become something that's a habit because we're so accustomed to running and rushing and grabbing and grasping and pursuing all these different things. So it's difficult. It's going to take practice. It's not something uh, that is natural to us as human beings, but it is something that can be natural to us as people of prayer.